Pittsburgh looks like it'd be decent versus the red decks. Uh, looks like it'd be okay versus control decks. Not sure how it'll do versus like things like GPG and mid-range decks, but we'll figure it out. I guess I'm going to keep this hand. We have a couple removal spells and we have a treasure thingy. That's right. Thingy. Treasure thingy. Cool, another removal spell. Good chance that it does nothing. Boom. No. Enjoy your cast out, friendo. Upkeep stops are the best stops. Uh, I guess we'll put that one on top. That one seems reasonably good in this type of board state. Uh, that's kind of sad because I'm going to be able to pressure this pretty easily. We don't have anything yet, but I still think I'm just going to jam this instead of that. Okay, well that's helpful because that'll give us some protection, but it looks like we're just never flipping this treasure map like this. <clears throat> I assume we're getting a land here, but... Oh, we're not getting a land. We're getting a Planeswalker removal spell, one way or the other. Well, that's just neat. <laughs> that's just neat. Boys and girls. And children of all ages. I hope Big Uncle, Big Uncle Brad agrees that it's neat. So, Vispro's dead no matter what. Alright, let's think what we're going to do here. Little Bro's dead no matter what. So, we could just cast the Hour Promise and get ready for next turn, I guess. We could just minus this and get this thing back. I think I'm down with that. We want lots of black mana now. I think I'm going to take the arch and just a marsh. Or sorry, ar yeah, arch and just a marsh. That gives us City's Blessing, and more mana to work with, so like, even if he has a removal spell this turn, we'll be able to kill the Shalai and the Gideon. But there was no way for us to actually save the Karn. Or if there was, I overlooked it. Oh, what have you been into today, Mr. Johnson? I 
A little hexproof, bro. <clears throat> Bonus got a lot of stuff going on. I guess I can't cast a double spell if I do this, so I guess I still can. I can, like, shoot this for three. Then I can kill. Okay, yeah, I can still do this. I don't know what I want. Kind of want this, but. Well, that's useful. Hmm. I'm gonna kill this one too. I thought you guys agreed to something. No, don't do that. I went ahead and killed a Gideon. That way I'd have the opportunity to double block the knight if I wanted to. Even though I'm pretty sure there's just no chance that I'm double blocking this knight. <clears throat> Especially when we already have like a if near deadlands that can kill it. Pretty sure my plan next turn is just to flip this bro, kill this bro, and kill this bro. Oh, he's got another Gideon. Rip. That's unfortunate. I guess we did need that contempt after all. I think the Esper deck's really good as long as you can avoid... Uh, as long as you can avoid a bunch of stuff. A bunch of blue-white decks basically is the stuff. I don't mind to throw away my zombies here just to chump block. And if, if worse comes to worse, we can throw away the treasures to kill some of these knights, even though I don't want to do that. Like, we do have that opportunity. I didn't want to give him a chance to draw a discard spell and use it on Devraska because that's I just want to get value out of most of my cards right now. Really don't want to give away these treasure maps, but if this is what it takes to like save Veraska or to like keep Veraska at a very high number, we will. Value my zombies, none. Blue Black Mid, I mean, I've said it a thousand times on stream, yet the Goblin Chain Roller decks are, like, the best decks in the format if you just look at, like, results and, like, what people's general opinion is. But in the back of my mind, I've said it since the Pro Tour, I just don't understand how Blue Black Mid just isn't still the best deck. Like, loses to GPG, and it loses to, uh... Probably the only thing that it really loses to. He's going to my head with these. Interesting. I'll block at least one. I think I'll fatal push one and just take four. It's a good chance that he's got like a contempt or a binding or something in his hand and that we're going to lose the Relic Seeker.
don't think I care about that. We'll just cast down it next turn, but I'm not going to... I'm not going to use uh, treasure tokens to stop that. Okay, well that's helpful. So I think we're going to start with this. And then we're going to go ahead and get this out of the graveyard. Next turn, we might try to deal with the one not in play, but like we're starting to go really wide here. We still have another never. We have double deadlands. Like he's down to one card. He has nothing in his graveyard. <clears throat> I think it's going to be rough. Probably hard to lose this one. Just getting ground out too hard. Okay. Attacking me last turn was confusing, because I would have probably had to give up more bros if he hadn't. Just attacking me again? Alright, well, I'll block. Because I'm a rebel without a cause. And even if he does have another angel, we still have this. I've not saw... Uh, Shalai in here before. That's kind of an interesting addition. So he can't even save Gideon now? Unless he has a removal spell? Or another blocker? Well, that's a good one. We're definitely going to have to kill that too, I think. Fortunately for us, we have just a number of ways to do this stuff. Let's, we'll start with this. I guess we'll just go ahead and kill that. Just using all my mana. Both of these cards at Gideon, bro. Right, I'll be shocked if our opponent can come back from this. We still have a card draw engine in play. We have a planeswalker in play. We have an arch, which is an additional card draw engine. We already have double removal spell in our hand. Wow. Well, they drew a Lyra. Lyra is not good versus Veraska, bro. I think Veraska is actually not a bro. Probably the opposite of bro. Creatures with flying cannot attack you. It's reasonable, but not great. I actually think Carnage Tyrants aren't terrible in matches like this. Um, Nissa probably don't need. Nissa's Extraction might be okay. This might be okay. Some of these might be okay, depending on what build he is. What don't I want? I definitely don't want this. Fine with all of these. I think I'm fine with... It's got a main deck naturalized. This dude's a rock star. This dude's an actual rock star. I love it. I can probably get rid of Liliana's in this match. Can probably shave a couple cast downs. I think most of his big things are gonna be legends. Um hmm. I found room for most of this if I want it all. Could potentially bring in the Doom Falls, but I with him being able to cast Karns to make blockers and um, 
So like constructs to make blockers and histories to make blockers, I think that makes Doomfall a little worse on the draw. So we couldn't play all of these cards, we'd have to cut two. Players timers probably just aren't actually any good here. <clears throat> Slightly better Planeswalker, maybe? Just return target permanent to my hand. I don't think I want that. Alright, one card in the Shire to rule them all. Alright, I think this is another keep. Could actually cast all of our spells, which seems like a good thing. No, that means duress. He's paying costs. Definitely, definitely did not want to lose this never here. I guess never's pretty similar to duress itself, so... I guess that's fine then. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Moto. My turn. Uh, snap off to history. Not too concerned about a cast out. We I mean, might hit something, but we have two Brontodons and a Naturalize. Is that the Swamp? That is the Swamp. So me and our opponent both are uh, pretty poor draws right now, it looks like. Oh, he didn't have double wide either. Oh, that blood fast. That could take this game over. I'm surprised he brought in blood fast. I thought I was an aggressive... I thought I looked like I was aggressive enough. I know I'm not an aggro deck or anything, but it just seemed... Like we were a lot bigger on the board than him game one and fast enough that he wouldn't have been able to leverage blood fast. So I just find it a little confusing. Though I do think in general the card's good versus me, so maybe he just knew what deck we're playing or whatever. Ah. Uh, I was really thinking we were going to get this Liliana and do, like, a Liliana thing. Oh, he didn't take the Liliana. They took the Contempt. What? Do they have another discard spell? Or do they just stone not care about Lily? Does anybody else find that odd? I know they have a cast out. Maybe they have, like, other planeswalker killers but unless they have actual discard spells like they have to think i have enchantment removal and even just getting one creature in play is uh considerable less amount of cards they can get with the blood fast I just don't know what Contempt was doing here. What are they protecting? See, we got a Frashing Brontodon. Well, if they if they missed a cast out here, we're definitely going to minus on Bronto Bro. That way we have protection from the cast out on the following turn. Okay. You can always like sack one of these or whatever and fatal push this thing still.
Could even kill this, but I'm actually not too concerned about killing this. I don't think he's going to have time to leverage it. Hey, Dong, thank you so much for the five little puppies. Get, get in there, Frankers. I think he's, like, priced into killing Liliana this turn unless he's got mass removal spells in his deck. Okay. Ah, so we can do some things here. Two, three, four, one. I think that's what I want to do. Well, first of all, I'm going to go ahead and play my land. Then I'm going to pump up this bro. Green, green, colorless, sacking this. Smash this. Hmm. Now, now comes, comes a decision. Do I want to kill the Bloodfast and just bring back the Brontodon? Probably not. I'm probably fine just killing the Bloodfast. And then, like, ticking the Liliana up. I think that's probably just good enough. I don't want him to get the extra mana because, like, he could just have a Lyra or something. So, like, I don't want it flipping into a mana. Could have, like, a Fumigate in his hand. Could have a Lyra in his hand. So I just don't want him getting the fifth land. Alright. Nice little, nice little start. We outground another uh, blackish midrange deck. Yep, used to hang out at Brett's stream all the time. Brett's good people. I wish he still played. Or I wish he still uh, streamed. I think he still plays occasionally, but... Silly people. Becoming productive with their lives. And leaving us poor, poor magic folk to ourselves. He should be ashamed of himself. I think that was back around the Pharos block time. It was just like nice pe nod people's faces off. All right, let's win this dash row. Let's get it done. Oh, hide this card. Nobody wants to look at that card. Lost the dash row, but that's okay. Yeah, I hope we get somebody good with it. I like the dude that plays this deck. He seems pretty smart. He's definitely his own man. Like, he, uh... Likes to brew and he likes to work. Uh, well, we can't keep this hand. I guess we'll keep this hand, but it doesn't seem like this hand's actually going to do anything. Oh, mono black aggro. Well, our hand's great for this match. We should be fine. 
It's playing Night Market Lookouts. I don't like playing Night Market Lookout in Mono Black Aggro because of Chain Whirler. Seems like you could just play the 1 2 and it'd be slightly better. I know it's like worse crewing and all that, but like. Not dying to Chain Whirler in a format that everybody thinks the red decks are just the best decks seems, like, insanely relevant to me. Is he from Neris? I didn't know he was from Neris. Well, you hear he's going to cause some problems. Do like you, Henny. Henny's a good card. All right, we'll do. We're doing our best. He gets to draw an extra card here. It's a little gifted, bro. It's another little bro. So if he's sacking already, that means he also has a fatal push. He's got a fatal push too. There's just no way I have any chance this game. So we're a hundred percent dead now. Let's see, if we can tempt this, we go to seven, we only take one, two, three, four, five, six. But if we kill that, yeah, we're just dead. And Mulligan, just way too slow. Logan, West Virginia, I've been there by accident. We'll bring in this bro, we'll bring in this bro. Probably get rid of this. Hey, no, what's up? So we move these over here for now. Move these over here for now. Um, just bring in, uh, could just overload removal spells, but I don't know if that's good. I don't think we have time for these. I think we're just going to be tapping our mana all the time. I don't think I really want these either, though. What's this do? Not a lot. <laughs> Do we just bring in the six seven blocker? Their mana cost is still like really high, but we have a lot of cheap interaction. All right, I'll try this. Keep bringing in one Carnage Tyrant versus non blue decks, and that's probably insane. Uh, two lands, they both deal damage to me, we have a Fatal Push, and we have Double Brontodon. So basically, we have to hit a green mana, because we basically have every card in our deck that we want in our hand. I think these Brontodons are key in a match like this. No, I pressed F6 because we may want to push. Yeah, that's good enough to push. Quite frankly, anything was good enough to push. Land, please. Thank you. wonder if he ever plays in Williamson or anything. That's only like 30 minutes away. I bet he'd show up to PPTQ over there. If they hadn't canceled it, I bet he would have been there. They canceled it, though. Yeah, Yohini's really nice. Alright, runner, runner lands. All we want to draw. And we'll feel quite happy. 
Well, that's unfortunate. We're getting to play two spells. Guess I'm gonna just kill this thing. I'm gonna do it now in case they have a fatal push so I can gain my two life. We're missing our land drops again though, that's bad. Yeah. Need this land. It's important. Got it. Don't want him drawing, so again, we're going to take a little extra damage, but we're just going to go ahead and pop this off again. If we draw an additional land, we can just play the hour and get some blockers going on. Ah, oh, that was a good one. It was a good one. Guess we have to play this one then. Come on, deck. Land us. Hey, George, what's up? We're not going to be these hyper-aggressive decks without playing our spells. It's very important that we do. It's so weird that he played Harvester there. Yeah, well, I don't really know what's going on. Do know we're getting ready to contempt the harvester, though. Maybe we're not. Maybe we're just gonna brontodon it or something. Probably gonna contempt it. weird to me. So you can sack this so I don't gain the life. And he did. And they hit a fatal push. Land? There's a land. So definitely want to get some black mana here. This is not going the wellest. Kind of want to double block this. It's like only bad if you drew a removal spell. If you drew a removal spell, lose both my dudes and lose three life. But if I don't draw a removal spell, like I take no damage at all, that just seems better overall. That's a glint. I messed up. I tapped my mana wrong. Basically, I just don't want him to draw a card here. I don't care if I have to take an additional three damage. It's a removal spell. I go to one. I think it's a removal spell that's good for us, though.
He's attacking with that with both. Not sure if I care about that. Yeah, I don't think I care about that. Okay, um... Oh, that's right. I do go to removal spell because he gains one. You're right. It just it it came it comes from glasses I wore when I was young. He's still got two creatures in his graveyard and like a rando card in hand. So, hey, Sean, thank you for the resub. I did not get a notification. That's weird. I think I'm just going to cast this one again. But you are right. You are right. I would have died. I think I'm just going to take this one up. Now we have the insurance versus the removal spell. Maybe we'll find a way to work for the Yenny next turn. Or get a bunch more removal spells, who knows. By removal spells I mean get a bunch more uh Oh that sucks. So now a removal spell would kill us. They have to tap most of their lands for this. So if we're not dead this turn, that's actually good for us. It's like really good for us if we're not dead this turn. Because now we're going to be able to get rid of the Scrap Heap Scrounger. This Black Aggro deck's pretty nice. I don't think you can ever beat a Goblin Chain Whirler deck though, so... Oh, that's, that's a legendary creature, isn't it? Neat. <laughs> so he's going to sack this, and then we're going to get this out of his graveyard. It's fine. Now he has to draw a reasonably good spell. Or he's just dead next turn. I don't think we have to go for it though. <clears throat> we'll just block here. Oh wow, he didn't attack. Um, if he didn't attack, what's that mean? Anything good in our graveyard? There's just no reason to risk it, right? Might have drawn a removal spell of some kind. I don't, I don't, I'm not seeing any reason to risk anything. It seems like we're just too far ahead to risk anything. We'll attack with the Menace, bro. Still have to win a game on the draw. I'll sack the contempt next turn because we have a million creatures. This is game two. Game one, we mulliganed and didn't have us play before turn three, and we were basically just dead. Opponent is illegally blocking. I don't think we can lose now. 
That's just something I'm just not thinking about. Side block with this. Maybe just a minus on this. Maybe I should have minus on that last turn and not worried about anything. Like, how do we lose if we just minus on that? I'm still just not going to risk it. I don't know what he could have in his hand. Maybe he has just, like, double removal spell or something. Like, this game's over. So it doesn't seem like there's any reason to risk anything. I'm even going through this stuff first so I can press F6. I still don't think that's very good here. These are like really slow, but they're okay. Giving him the option of what to kill doesn't seem very good. The Carnage Tyrant we have in our deck also just doesn't seem very good. These Carns in our deck just don't seem very good. Is like a bad removal spell just better than these cards? Potentially? I can see a bad removal spell just being better than those cards. I don't really have very many good ways to win a game, though. Was like one of our few good ways to win a game. All right, fine. We'll bring it back in. Uh, we don't have any black mana, so I guess we'll ship it. This is kind of how we lost game one, too. We just mulliganed and, like, didn't really play much magic. We'll keep that because we need multiple lands. That's obviously not very good here. We're just, like, not playing magic again, but that's okay. At least he doesn't have a one drop this time. I'm just worried about cards like this being able to stop Doomfall from ever getting a high value target. And like it can never kill a Harvester, which sucks as well. Alright, one time, untap black land and we have a chance. So you're saying there's a chance. So next turn we can either Gaunty or we can try to get this. Or if he plays something like a Harvester, maybe we'll draw the green mana, who knows? Well, I guess that, that takes away a lot of our options, doesn't it? All right, well, Exile Creature. So he's probably going to buy this back and exile it because this is a card drawing machine here. The thing is, like, asking for it's not good enough. We need a lot more things to go right. That was just to keep playing the game. We need a lot of things to go right here. He's going to be drawing two cards a turn. We don't actually have a sweeper. We don't actually have the right color lands. If we just play Gaunty, all he's going to do is kill it. Like, I would imagine that this game's not winnable anymore. 
And I would say it's not been winnable since our opening draw, but I really just don't think I could go to five to hope. But, I mean, that's not necessarily true. Like, his hand could be bad as well, and we could, like, rip a couple of removal spells in a row or something. That is not a couple of removal spells. That is a card that we can't even cast. And he's already got a way to kill that. So he's got six damage that he can deal right now. No, it was a good draw. It just wasn't a good enough draw to matter. Like his hand had to be basically nothing for it to, for it to even matter. We we're just too far behind. A lot of our lands come into play tap, so even if we hit a land, we might not be able to play a spell. We hit a land that lets us play a spell, but not necessarily a great spell. And he's going to get to draw two more cards. Alright, well we already have three of these, so I guess we're just going to get two of these. At least one of these will be a removal spell though, so we're going to take like six this turn. And that's the bare minimum. We could take the full eight. But we are at least taking six this turn. Yeah. Alright, so that's game. We don't have an out now. Yep. Oh well. Match felt pretty bad. Uh, both games that we lost, we were on the draw with a mulligan, I think. So... I don't know. Maybe we win game one if we're on the play. Probably not. We got, like, buried really easily. So next I have to have some kind of sweeper or something in the sideboard for that. For that type of match. If that deck's a popular deck. Though I don't expect that deck to be a popular deck because, again, you know, the red decks are the best decks in the format and that deck's going to have close to 0% versus red. Like, it's, it's honestly going to be like 75-25. Unless he's got an amazing sideboard plan. Which he could have. I don't know. I don't know if it's a mana issue tear. It's just it's just reality for me. It's how I always draw. It's nothing new. Some of us were not born lucky and have to play with a handicap. Lost to Dastro again. This hand's very good. See, this is the type of hand that we could have beat that deck with. So, obviously, we're going to get paired versus some blue deck that this hand does nothing versus, right? Called it before he played it. <laughs> it's, a, it's amazing how that works, right? Just gonna do this. I'm not worried about the Brontodon. Too too high of a likelihood that he's just gonna counterspell the Brontodon anyway. I'm really hoping to be able to get the treasure map down before he can do anything about it. Um, I actually took the draw here because the Brontodon could theoretically protect this from a cast out. Though I still just assume this is going to get counterspelled.
because we drew three removal spells this game. You know, the very things we needed in the last match, but not this match. That was a good draw. I actually see now that I made a play mistake too. Because that, if I'd drawn a desert this turn, I wouldn't be able to get a arch plus it. And I can't get a, the arch doesn't do me any good anyway. Because I'm so far away from being able to get a thing that I guess I'm just going to get stuff to get Zombros. I guess I'm just going to get Zombro stuff. I'd still be three turns away from the Arch Mattering. And I just, now that these decks have Approach, I don't think that can be... I think we have to be able to put some kind of pressure on them. Tip to kill that thing. So second hard counter spell. Please don't tell me it's just another. Ah, right, sweet. Not another. At least that's something. It's probably enough to kill us. Could have played this and tried to kill him in two turns, or possibly one turn if we draw an Oasis, but I have so many Fumigates and stuff that I just don't think it's worth it, and I'd rather keep a 2-2. Two -two. And punished. Imagining this game's just over. Could have tried to contempt there, but I feel like he'd get counterspelled. I feel like there's a chance that he was going to use his mana like on a glimmer or something, and that's just better for us. That card doesn't do a lot. Yeah, so that's just better for us. Hopefully he doesn't have his usually one of negate. That's two down. Nice big planeswalker, please. Okay. 
No third disallow, please. I'm going to start by getting this back because I think there's too much of a chance that he's got to cast out or something anyway. We have a scavenging ground if we have to. Okay. So I'm glad we got the value we got out of the card. We probably have to scavenging grounds at the end of next turn no matter what. Can't let him flip search or we'll just lose. Assuming we've not already lost, which we may have. Of. Certainly do not want you. Certainly do not want you. Hello? We get the Brontodon back with this one if uh, if he doesn't kill it and then we'll chain the Brontodon into the cast down into killing the search. Um, put one on bottom, one on top, so that means Liliana's getting counterspelled. Because you don't keep that in any other scenario. Let's sack this one in case he draws a field of rune. I want both the scavenging grounds for later. But yeah, there's no other scenario that you keep a card on top there. So we need to dodge blink, dodge cast out, dodge to fairy for a turn, and flip. I guess we need to dodge filter room too, God. We need to dodge everything. Like we are s in such a bad spot. There's filter room. Um, I guess whatever. I'm still just gonna activate it. A scry is better than not a scry. Ooh, that's pr pretty decent. Main deck naturalize gonna get you. Just in case he's got another cast out or something, we're gonna go after the search for the first shot. I assume that at the end of turn he's gonna kill our treasure crew. We have one field of runes in our deck. I guess we could have just not flipped that if we wanted to. Like that's not entirely unreasonable. I don't know if it would have got us anywhere. And they hit Teferi 3. Nope, they didn't approach. That's even worse. So the game's over very soon now. So they can mill themselves for 4 here. They chose not to. So we know it's the six card down. We need our field of rune to make them shuffle their deck or something. Well, another cast out's not what we needed, or cast down, sorry, it's not what we needed. So if they have any card that's got the word cycle on it, we lose next turn exactly. If not, we get one more draw step. Well, I mean, anything that says draw a card, whether it be cast out, glimmer, supreme will, or whatever. So now we know it's five cards down. And that's one turn too slow. Unless they somehow just missed the review at play.
Yeah, Karn wouldn't be too bad with the five artifacts. So unless they missed the rivulet play, we're just dead. If they, if they use the rivulet, we know the top card of the library will exactly be approach. Make sure they're targeting themselves. They are. All right. Well, there's that game. Well, we're definitely going to bring in these here. We're going to bring in these here. We're going to bring in these and these here. Cards that were 100% taking out are these. This. Probably these. And all of these too, I guess. Beginning of your instep, create a 5 5 green bro. I don't think that's good enough. I think I might bring that in versus mid range decks, but not, not a pure control deck. I think I bring it in versus things like blue black mid range, um, mirrors, the deck we played last night. Um, I could have potentially brought it in versus the deck we played round one, but like, just felt like we were so far ahead of him that I didn't bother. Um, might be able to bring it in versus, like, the red-black, uh, aggro deck, because, like, they have so many, like, phoenixes and so many glory bringers that if we stalled a game that, like, maybe the card can just come down and win. Probably comes in versus blue, probably comes in versus gifts, probably comes in versus, um, like, blue-black control. Uh, and Esper Control, I, I don't think it can, it probably, it's probably less good versus blue-white. Alright, well we have to mulligan. And we get a keepable hand, but like it's terrible. It's just another just like unplayable hand, like starting the game on turn 4 and 5 will never beat these decks. Yeah, I was thinking it could come in versus red-black. I think I, I listed that on that little list of things that I thought could, could come in versus. I just don't think starting this game on turn four or five is going to be good enough, and we have to draw lands and removal spells from here. It just seems like a big ask. I don't. Maybe I'm supposed to mulligan to four. I don't mulligan, or sorry, mulligan to five. I refuse. I almost refuse to mulligan to five if our hand can even play spells. Just one of the things that I'll almost rarely ever do. Another one of those cards that I barely want, but I don't want him casting a Glimmer this turn, so I'm going to try to slam my least good spell. I don't think I don't think I ever want to put Glint Sleeve Siphoner in any single deck that isn't producing energy in some other way than just Glint attacking. But that's just me. I guess I'm gonna to try to play this one. I assume he's gonna counterspell whichever one I play. But this card seems a little bit better to me on the board. And I think the uh, Hour of Promise is like the card that I really want to resolve. Um, Gifted Effort is an extremely powerful card, but I'm honestly not sure how often we're going to have double... Uh, not sure how often we're going to have double black on like turn two early. It's not a lot of black sources in this deck. We have like a lot of like random colorless sources and we have uh Alright, well during their upkeep I'm gonna try to contempt that. Try to tax their mana the only way we can. 
I assume it just gets counterspell. They have five cards in their hand. Like, it's pretty easy for it just to be a counterspell here, but. We see a card go on top. We know they hit a negate. And a card went on the top. Goodbye, Veraska's Contempt. Oh, wow. I take that back. Maybe he just hit a second Teferi then. I can see that. He just drew a Teferi or a Disallow or something. But also, this is not my deck. This is the the a deck from the top eight, of, or sorry, the top thirty-two of the Grand Prix. So we're just like kind of like playing their seventy-five. Uh, I guess I want another green. That's weird to me. I don't know why, but that's just super weird to me. Definitely want the arch, and I guess I want another scavenging grounds. Because if he's killing the scavenging grounds, there's a good chance that he's got torrential gear hook or something in his deck. I don't think he's just doing that for the hey, maybe I'll draw something good later in the game, you know? Like if he's doing that, he's doing it for a reason. I imagine that he's doing it for a reason, I'll rephrase. I don't know that he's doing it for anything. I wonder if I'm supposed to draw a card here. He's got six cards in hand. He's not really played anything. He left a random card on top a minute ago. Then he, then he untaps and plays approach. It could just easily be a second approach to the way he's played the game. Short. That doesn't seem unreasonable either. So now we know it's six cards down. That doesn't really do anything. Try to get some extra damage in here. He could have a Silway, he could have a Blink. I mean, we have very few amounts of turns left anyway, so I don't think we can worry about things like that. Yeah, there's a Silloway. So it's five cards down now. I'm pretty sure they at least have a gear hulk in their hand. I guess we'll never know. Or maybe we will. Oh, well, I have a bunch of settled wreckages. Took the cast out because, like, they have four sweepers in their hand. Taking a sweeper doesn't feel like it does anything. And, uh, I don't want them to be able to cycle and get closer to the approach. We now know it's four cards down. Maybe we can find a pull or something I said pull but I'm in uh, what's this thing called a rune that's what I meant I think attacking them for five really even does much
So we know it's four cards down, right? And they have three sweepers. I think I just have to draw cards. I think we just have to draw cards. This scatter doesn't do anything, so. I don't really do anything either. I mean, we're trying our hardest to get it. I want to attack before I play the treasure map in case he makes a shuffle our deck. So it's two cards down after this card, I think. Whatever it was, they held. I know it lands an extra card at this point, but... Again, that's technically an extra card at this point, but... There's an Essence Scatter, and they have a Glimmer Genius, so they win next turn. Mm. There's nothing we can do about it either, is there? Like, we legitimately can't draw anything to do anything about it. We're just dead. Maybe we could have got the Bloodfast back turn and just, like, drew a bunch of cards. Overdoing everything we did do. Yeah, but Scavenging Grounds doesn't help. I mean, it it does and it doesn't, right? Because if I'm not drawing cards, we're losing anyway. But I can't use the hour. I can't use the hour. I guess I can use the hour in the Scavenging Grounds. Sure. All right. Sure. I have that much mana. Hey, Wada. Thanks, man, for stopping by. So we definitely want the Field of Rune. I could have miscounted, too. Like, it could be further down than what I'm thinking. But maybe it's not. Maybe that field of runes enough here. So that's the cards we know that they still have. So I think it's their next card. Sweet. Seems like I'm right. That card's kind of good, but we're kind of using our mana, so... Just gonna put that on the bottom for now. Um, 
Uh, so let's do everything that we know we want to do this term before we think about other things. I agree it would be, but it's probably not happening. These are the things we have to do just to get more turns. I like how I get to draw a card off of this. He could have just drawn a disallow too. Alright, so it looks like he's drawing the thing. And it probably was, but... I just kind of wanted to draw a bunch of cards this turn and find like more discard spells. Because we still only have so many turns to kill him, right? Eh, maybe that was just really wrong. I guess we're dead now. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. I guess it's better just to play this one, and I shouldn't have did that. Yeah, our hour was better than what I started to do. Now we need to hit a discard spell. How many discard spells do we have left in our deck? We have one Duress and one Doomfall. So we only have two. Um... Draw one, nice. Draw two. Snag that thing. Guess I want to go ahead and use this here. He's gonna, he's gonna kill our stuff next turn. So maybe that's just wrong. Maybe I just want to draw then. I guess I don't want to draw. We'll go ahead and kill that. No, I don't want to. I don't want to kill all of my treasures. Oh, whatever. I'll draw a card. I think I'm still just attacking. I don't think I care that he can block. All right, well, we've got one discard spell left in our deck. He has one approach left in his deck and a ton of ways to draw. There's the fairy. That's even more ways to draw. But on the good news, that the fairy means that there's a chance that he draws the approach and we can get it with our last discard. Yeah, he gets our land, but I, I played my turn very poorly. Like I, play, I, played, I played my last turn very, very poorly. So I kind of want to try to draw that card this turn.
or like try to draw that. We did bring in the last Doom Ball, right? Like I'm not just an idiot. Okay, we did bring in the last Doom Ball. Um. I guess I should attack first. He might, uh, he might do the one thing. And if he does, we get to draw more cards. I think I'm okay now if he, uh, kills this. We don't have another treasure anyway. Hey Juka, what's up man? I'm just punting my way through this game. About as hard as one can probably punt. I wonder if I'm supposed to just slam this and get this thing back. Getting ready for Friday. You're either really far ahead or really far behind me. Time wise, I don't I don't know if there's that much ahead or that much behind. So you kill our bro this time. That's fine. I don't think I want that. I think I played this game terrible, but I think that we're. Probably in okay shape now. I think keeping that one's okay. So opponent has to discard. Discarded that. This game's too hard to keep up with. I've damn near drone my deck. I'm definitely casting this. Because we might actually get his approach here. How sweet would that be? We did not get his approach. Okay, well. The plan. I'll keep you. Don't draw it. Cool, he didn't draw it. Could we? Did I did I mess that up? Guess I'll take this one. But well, he gets more than one draw because he still has this settle now, right? So he minimum gets more than one draw. I messed up. I should have done this already. I'm starting to look at the time and I'm confused. I just didn't know if we had enough mana and everything. Was not paying attention to the mana.
Let's see what they have. They have a gate now too. Whatever. They get another draw. Nothing I can do about it really. Go ahead and let them settle. I don't care. Should have used that, I guess. Again, at this point, I'm just trying to speed through this crap. Don't think I'm drawing here. I messed up that turn too, I think. I use this thing yet? Yeah, I've used that thing yet. I guess I'll go ahead and slam one of these two then. Whatever. I'm just pressing F6. They have another one, they have another one. I think this game was winnable had I just played well. Just attacking of everything. F6 has been activated. I have six minutes to play another game, so... Last draw step. Did we dodge it? Ah, uh, he still has seven mana. <laughs> it won't hurt my head because I played very, very, very poorly. If he if he waits a minute and a half and then casts it, it would. If he just hits it or like cycles into it, it won't bother me. But if he like you know, it takes a bunch of time and then casts it, it would probably bother me. On a positive note is, um, when I try to play fast, I play pretty darn fast, so I'd say there's a good chance that if it comes down to timing out, our opponent's going to get the short end of this stick. But, you know, we don't know if it's going to get that far yet. Taking a minor break right now. Kind of want to bring this in. I just don't think it's good enough, though. I'm just going to submit and try to play fast. Uh, pretty easy keep. Don't need this. Don't need this. Oh no, not search for Ascanta. That's the Doom card. Five more duress. Wouldn't complain to have five more duress. At least a, a search for Ascanta is an extremely slow card to resolve, so we have that going for us. But, and he's got history lessons? Oh, this could be bad. Because I'm targeting his creatures here. I actually think that card can just kill us if he's got a couple of counter spells. So I want to get one of the knights off the table so we don't have to worry about it. I know that seems insane, but like we have a powerful five, we have a powerful five, we have a powerful six. Um, if they just have counter spell, counter spell, counter spell, we'd be taking two, then we'd be taking eight, then we'd be taking like four, four, four over the next several turns. And that just seems like that's enough to beat us. 
depending on what they have, and they're keeping cards on top of their library, so that's probably a bad sign for us as well. I'm going to start with Liliana into this, and then play this third, I think, because I think this is the best card in our hand, slash deck, however you want to look at it. I got a Teferi too. Yeah, this game's just over. We drew one interactive spell in our entire deck, so we're just SOL. Now that they're down to uh, what they're down to, I guess. I guess we're just going to contempt and hope it resolves. I assume that they didn't play Teferi without negate, though, so I highly doubt this is going to work. They want to wait till their turn because it would have gave them access to disallows as well. And they've just not put a card in their graveyard this entire game. We are ahead on clock though. I told you that we wouldn't lose on clock. This kind of sucks to play because even, uh, I assume they just like have like Gear Hulk counterspell here or something. But like Karn's such a bad card. Alright, so we lost this game. There's nothing we can do. I'll go ahead and put my stops back. I'm pretty sure that's just an easy keep though. Like, I don't even think that keep was close. Now we have to beat a Teferi, a Gear Hulk, and an Approach. That seems like something that is not physically possible to do. Well, step one, I guess. We know the approach is five cards down, four cards down after the Teferi. Wait, so, never mind. So they drew one last turn, they scribed one, they drew one, that's three, this is four, so it's three more cards down. So they can draw it next turn. Oh, they just drew another, so the game's over that way, too. Oh, well. Uh, sad. I feel like both games we lost, like... I feel like every game we've lost so far tonight, like, just has not even been close to a competitive game of Magic. Like, we've just gotten beaten very, very easily. And the games that we've won have felt like they're pretty close, so that's, like, kind of a bad sign for the deck overall, I think. But maybe I'm playing poorly. Like, we know, I know I played that game, last game poorly, but, like, I won that game, so. I think most of the losses I played pretty well. Hey, sweet Matt. I'm not sure I noticed you come in. That game was kind of, uh, kind of over me head. See if we can tighten up the play of this game. We lost another dice row. Have we lost every dice row or have we won one? We have a double green spell and a double green spell in our hand. I'm pretty sure I'm just mulliganing this versus a blind opponent. I said double green, but I meant double black. I guess we keep... There's a number of hands that this, or a number of decks that this hand can never beat. It's 
Speaking of which, this is probably one of those. Oh, Kari Zev. These cast downs and these uh, nature's claims are fantastic. I guess it's worth using a cast down on this? I don't know. Constantly taking extra damage seems kind of bad. We're like pretty far behind. We're dropping to 11 already and they have three more cards in their hand. If they just play like a Phoenix or a Hazard or a Chandra here, that cast down didn't do anything. It's like only good if they play exactly another Goblin Chain. Alright, well we have to draw Contempts now. We did not draw a contempt. What the hell are you? Okay. I don't want any of these cards. Guess you're the best out of them? I mean, you're not even good because then their opponent can emblem you. But, like, all of those cards were so bad here. Like, every one of those cards was just trash. I think we we're on a 0% chance to win. We're taking 8 damage this turn? Again? Yeah, we're taking 8 damage this turn. Maybe I should have kept the shock. Now that I think about it, maybe the shock was a little bit better. Oh. Still taking 8 damage. Right, well, we survive at 1, I think, if we hit a contempt. Not a contempt. Uh, I think I want this. Definitely want these. I used to like these because they block Hazard, but I don't know if this deck needs them. I certainly don't want those. I don't think I want that. There's not enough creatures for that. I think Liliana's kind of bad in this match. Uh, I think Treasure Map and Naturalize are kind of bad in this match. So these are fine, these are fine. All of this seems fine, so what's good though? i just bring in the Carnage Tyrants. I guess they block. I'll try Carnage Tyrants. Need to draw several of this half of the deck early to have a chance. There's only 14 of these cards, so that's probably a bad idea. Yeah, I brought, I brought in the Eldest. I don't think it's good, because I think they're always going to have like a Soulscar Mage or something around that I can't ever kill, so like they're always just going to sack that. Uh, I, can't, I can't start on turn 4 versus Mono Red. Right, this hand's better than our other hand, even though this hand might not ever play a single spell. Other than the first fatal push. But with a scry, I'll keep it. I'm not going to go to five. 
How many times have I said tonight I'm not going to go to five and then I just lose? Maybe I should be more willing to go to five. Uh-oh. Two lands away from being able to play all the spells in our hand. Just taking the one, one of, one, two, fatal push to monkey maker too badly to kill that. All right, deck, any untap land, let's dance. That's not an untap land, that's just a generic five drop. I'm going to assume the game's over the second we miss the untap land. Because now we're going to be on the back foot the entire game while they're slipping damage through. That's an assumption made assuming that their hand is like medium or like medium to good. If their hand's terrible, like maybe we can come back. Alright, well. We can't cast the only good spell in our hand, so we'll cast this, I guess. And hope that he doesn't have Chandra Glorybringer. I said Chandra Glorybringer, but I meant Chandra Hazard. It's fine too. It's considerably less fine now. Um, I guess I'll kill this one. This Eldest Reborn looks really bad. It's probably still better than whatever it would have been. It would have probably just been another Carnage Tyrant. Alright, well, we have zero outs. We just got murked. We'll play the last round for the fun of it, and then we'll concede their opponent even if we're about to win. But we've not lost a single game that's even been close. We have literally got destroyed in every single game we've lost. They've not even been close. This deck, we played a similar deck to this once, like the Brandon the Candio build. And like we ran into similar problems with it. Like it felt like it has to draw really well. So this was like the Decandio build, and they're kind of similar, except Decandio's got a little bit more in the early game, and then like kind of sideboards into this deck, but like, it just doesn't feel like it does enough early. The, de the version we're playing doesn't feel like it's doing enough early, and this version didn't feel like it was doing enough strong early. Anyway, back to the build that we're playing. Like, they're pretty similar. I think ours better than the things that the Candio had. And, like, trying to play a later game. Thanks for the host, Al. It's probably better than what the Candio was doing. But, like, games just don't let you get to that late point anymore. And, like, the blue decks just play approach. Like, you can't go long versus approach. And you can't get to the long game if the red decks are drawing to reasonable spells. Now, I don't think you can play Land of War Elves in a deck like this, though, because of Chain Whirler. And Servant may just not be good enough. This deck does not feel particularly strong to me. What did we play last night? We played... Uh, Abzan. We played this deck last night, which is just similar, but has such a better early game that it just feels better overall. Who wants to buy a red magic letter carrying case brand new? Alright, we'll keep this hand. Again, prepared versus any red deck, the game's just over already. But that's just not good enough, though. 
on the draw, I'm ramping into a three drop spell, and then it's probably just dying. Like that just doesn't seem good enough. All right, so we see a mountain. We're probably already dead because again, we drew like a random thing. Gift of Paradise, possibly, but feel like you're spending your mana on turn three a lot. We're probably needing to to do something better than gift. All right, we'll keep that one. So we're probably going to have to kill this. Which is probably bad for us because he'll probably get to buy it back at some point. Like, still just, like, really far behind. Guess we'll keep that. Let's us play something. And theoretically gives us a creature for next turn. Um, I'd rather kill this one. Oh, congrats, man. Yeah, mono red. Mono red's definitely a problematic thing. Mono red is very, very, very good. He still has three cards in hand, and he's not playing a land here. Can't think of much that we beat in that situation. The cast down was good, depending on what's in his hand. Yeah, just that's that's one of the best ways to beat those decks. So we're going to seven here. I kind of want to take two more damage just to flip this. How reckless is taking two more damage just to flip the blood fast? It's probably too reckless. I didn't want to slam the Liliana because I didn't want him to just like be able to use a removal spell on it. Not wasn't too worried about taking damage that turn. Other than through burn spells. I didn't want to just block either. I don't know. So now they have to do like 7 damage in a turn cycle to us. Looks like they're doing 7 damage because they wouldn't do that any other way. It's going to take 15 damage to burn I guess. Wish they wouldn't slow road if they have it. Okay, I guess you're just slow rolling it. Oh, it's a Flame of the Keld. Alright, well we might be able to beat Flame of the Keld. <clears throat> so they didn't have it, they were not slow rolling. Start with this. Let's second with this. Let's kill that thing. I don't want him to draw a lightning strike and be able to later, uh, Uh, use it in response. So I'm going to do that. We still have a fatal push, so like we can kill a Kenra or anything here. Well, they just have nothing. 
All right, I'm going to, I'm just going to be, I don't have double green. I guess I can just double green here. <laughs> I don't, uh, I don't, I've never played those games. I don't know, but we know Al is a gamer. Maybe Al will know. I don't know how we won this game. I just definitely do not know how we won this game. Yo, homie. Opponent. I am currently one and three and cannot receive a prize. Oh, prize. I am only playing for the sake of my stream. Um, if I'm about to win, just tell me and I will scoop the game. The treasure map scribes were pretty good, but like we can't keep treasure map in the deck even though they were good, can we? So we can bring these in. We can actually probably bring these in versus this build of the deck. I kind of naturalized might be usable versus this build of the deck specifically. Anyway, I've done my thing. I've told my opponent I'm going to scoop. If he doesn't pay attention, that's on him. That's not on us. I think the naturalize is good enough versus this build. I kind of want to side the blood fast out. Bloodfest is how we won last game. I still want to sideboard it out. I just don't think it's good enough overall. I don't think these are very good either, though. I mean, they're slightly better than those just because they're faster, but... Oh, uh, let's try this. Uh, I, I guess I keep this hand. Contempt's like really powerful. We have a duress. Maybe we'll hit the green mana for the Brontodon. Still have, I have one Veraska, two Lilianas, two Thrashing Babies. You only need you only want you only need one uh, with kill condition if you draw it. If we're on the play. I might would bring the Carney in. You only need one when you draw it. Our opponent brought Magma Sprays in? What? He's got a second Beaumont Courier, though. We are going to get buried this game. What matches were tonight again? I forgot what League of Legends matches were tonight. Jin versus BBQ. Jin Air versus Afrika. And... Something else must already be on and I must have looked at the clock wrong wow they hit double brontodon all right well it looks like we're going to a game three is it already on I thought it come on at three it is in fact already on well that sucks we know this card's useless because we know their hand it's one mountain I have no idea how we're going to beat three Brontodons if they draw even reasonable. Right, that's a cool opponent. Could care less. <laughs> I mean, 
Um, I'm giving you the win. You're welcome. Don't much care about the rest of that. Maybe the rest is are bad. Uh-oh, we're doing it. Blockathon. We're doing it, we're doing it, we're doing it, wow. Sack them all, draw, draw seven cards. Sunscorch Desert? What? What shenanigans is that? What is it? What is this? I don't think our opponent knows how to hold priority. Got me. <laughs> this is going to be one of those games where we have to contempt our own Brontodon just to gain two life and pray. Boom, wizard to the face. Oh, he didn't attack. What what trickery is this? So he's just wanting to sack this? That's fine. We'll make him sack it, then we'll untap and duress him. Depending on how medium their hand is, we may kill this too. Uh, we can't kill that. Boo. <laughs> we have to leave our bro up. We're just dead. That's unfortunate. Just dead. Maybe if we draw exactly contempt, contempt, we're okay. They have four mountains. All right, we're tapped out, homie opponent. Do your worst. Grab a scavenging grounds and another one of these. All right, we have blockers. Why well, we were going to win this game for like a second? We sideboarded out the Bloodfast. I don't think Bloodfast is good in these matches. We don't, we don't have reliable creatures, you know? All right, so we're dead to that. Like, we only have two creatures in our deck. If we had, like, a bunch of Scarab Gods and stuff, I'd probably want Bloodfast, but when we literally only have two Brontodons in our deck, I don't think I want it. All right, well, I'm going to one. Guess I'm not technically dead. JK, we are in fact technically dead. 
Could have killed this, but I wasn't thinking about him having that card versus us. I think we just run it back. Um, okay, this sounds keepable. Have double green already. We have a lot of good removal spells. Just have to hit a few more lands. Have a kill condition. We have a good blocker. One of those lands needs to be black, but whatever. I do think this is an easy keep. That may not get there, but, you know, a lot of keeps don't get there, so. There's no reason to hold this. We can't use it on the uh, Karizev anyway. Land? That is, in fact, a land. I think I'd rather just play this one. This is the gift that may keep on giving. Or he might be tempted to kill this one, and I think him killing this one's good for us. Us saving our removal spell for a crash crasher seems good too. I think I'm just going to kill this one. I will kill this one. I'm going to hold the contempt to case he sideboarded in Chandra's or Phoenix's or like Hazard's or something. I just hope he doesn't have a second one of exactly that other card. Well, that's not too bad for us. Now we have a Brontodon, so we can block a Harvester. We're at least going to sack and kill the Harvester either way, and we can buy it back with the Liliana. Which is nice. Okay, that's a good one. Sure. See if they'll spend the energy. I'm going to sack it whether they spend the energy or not, but we might as well get the energy out of them if we can. So I have three spells in their hand. Three is a bunch. Earthshaker, Kenra, Grr. Not happy that they have a Kenra. Like, losing this game, in a way. That's not a bad draw. I lied, by the way. I said we had two creatures in our deck, but we did have one Brontodon and one Gaunti as well. I meant two creatures with fat butts. I just wasn't specific. Seems good for me. Seems less good for me.
fact, it seems more than less good for me. Seems just stone bad for me at this point. Well, that seemed great for me, actually. <laughs> so we can push this. I had no idea you could do that. That's wild. We we'll go ahead and get his Earthshaker back before <laughs> before it makes us regret it. That is wild. Blockerini. He's going to sack here. I think I'm not going to attack. Hopefully our opponent remembers don't concede. They tapped some mana and then they untapped it. That one doesn't do anything. <laughs> this is a destroy all non zombros. Probably start attacking next turn. Especially if they don't do anything this turn. I probably could have attacked one turn earlier. In all honesty. So we're at eight. So I don't know if this game's losable at this point. I think we win the game before they, even if they draw like three perfects, I think the game's over. I think that's why he played that land. I think he just wants me to um, scoop to him. Oh, I could have been wrong. All right, so we're going to let him draw his draw strip. And then we're going to concede to him because we can't get a prize and we guarantee that he gets a prize this way. Alright, so we, we beat a red deck, but they drew pretty miserably. Uh, so we donated our opponent $14 in, in, a, in a manner, but like we couldn't get anything out of it. We just got smashed all night. Uh, wasn't a fan of this deck. It seemed like uh, it didn't really have the tools to extend the game to where it wanted. I think if we'd won some more dice rolls, maybe we would have been okay. But like, like versus all these red decks, we had so many hands where we just like started on turn four and five of the game, and I just don't think that gets it done. But anyway, the deck itself was fun. Like the games where we went like super long, like the. The one game versus Blue White where I made like a million mistakes, like that game was pretty sweet. Our round one was pretty sweet. Just doesn't feel to me like the deck's particularly good. But 
Hey, maybe I'm just wrong. It's pretty easy for me to be wrong. I played the deck one time and I played it horribly. Anyway, so we're going to host our little buddy Hodge. He's playing Green White History. And I'm going to hop off here for tonight. Thank you guys so much for stopping by and take care, everybody. Apparently, I typed history instead of host. Boom.